Hello everyone and good evening and welcome to the news from Shirok TV. Today's stories include Revolutionary Front announced its conditional approval on the appointment of civilian governors. American official announced keenness of his country to complete removing Sudan from the list of terrorism. Sudanese Eritrean military talks concluded. The Presidential Council of the Revolutionary Front has issued a statement through which it announced its conditional approval on the appointment of civilian governors, pointed to the challenges that accompanied the selection of governors and called for urgent reviewing to reduce tensions in the states. The Revolutionary Front stated that its conditional approval of the appointment of civilian governors was in response to the desire of the people for a civil state. The statement indicated that the Revolutionary Front has been aware since the beginning about the challenges facing the naming of civilian governors. Therefore, it has stressed the importance of conducting extensive consultations with the revolutionaries and adopting clear-cut criteria in choosing civilian governors, top of which are the integrity, competence, scientific and administrative capabilities, the popular acceptance and the distance from blatant partisanship. The Chief of his Staff, Lieutenant General Mohammed Uthman Hussein, received on Saturday in his office the American military attaché to Sudan on the occasion of the expiry of his assignment to Sudan. The meeting discussed the future of cooperation between Khartoum and Washington in the military fields and opportunities for enhancing it. The American attaché pointed to the keenness of his country and its concerned bodies to complete the procedures for removing the name of Sudan from the list of countries sponsoring terrorism, a matter which is expected to be reflected on the relations between the two countries in various fields. The federal delegation, headed by the member of the Transitional Sovereign Council, General Ibrahim Jabir, has concluded its mission in North Darfur after achieving success in solving the problems raised by the sitting in citizens in Fatabarno, Kutum and Kapkabia and responding to their demands and setting up mechanisms for peaceful coexistence and conflict resolution in these areas. The delegation arrived lately in South Darfur State to settle some tribal problems at Gereda area. The federal delegation includes the Transitional Sovereign Council's member, General Ibrahim Jabir, the Minister of Religious Affairs and Endowments, Nasruddin Mufarrah, the second commander of the Rapid Support Forces, General Abdul Rahim Dagalu, Ismail Al Taj, and Taha Usman, along with representatives of the forces of freedom and change. The Sudanese Eritrean military talks, which held in honor of the visiting Eritrean chief of his staff, concluded on Friday. The talks tackled the spheres of military cooperation and the two sides renewed desire to exchange visits to develop the relations between the two countries. On the sidelines of the talks, the Eritrean chief of his staff and the accompanied delegation visited a number of the military institutions in the country to the army in training field. The Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Mohammed Uthman al Hussein, has praised the relations between Sudan and Jordan and the efforts exerted by the Ambassador of Jordan to Khartoum for consolidating the relations between the two countries. This came when the Chief of Staff received in his office on Saturday the Ambassador of Jordan on the occasion of his office term in Sudan. Ambassador Al Khazala affirmed his country's keenness to strengthen further its relations with Sudan, especially in the fields of military cooperation and the exchange of experiences praising the national roles played by the Sudanese armed forces. Minister of Culture and Information Faisal Mohammed Saleh has congratulated the Sudanese journalists for their agreement on setting up the steering committee of the Journalist Trade Union. Saleh wrote on his Facebook page, they deserve congratulation to the Sudanese journalists who surpassed differences and formed the steering committee. He thanked the Dean of the Sudanese Media, Ustaz Mahjoub Muhammad Saleh, for sponsoring the agreement on the formation of the committee. The Federal Ministry of Health has announced that the total COVID-19 infections reached 11,302, including 715 fatalities and 5,855 recovered cases. The epidemiological report registered 65 new cases, including 7 fatalities and 20 recovered cases on Thursday, July the 23rd. Khartoum State registered 50 cases, Jazeera 1 case, Kassala 8, the Red Sea 6, while other 14 states did not register any case. Reminding headlines. 
Revolutionary Front announced its confidential approval on the appointment of civilian governors. American official announced kindness of his country to complete removing Sudan from the list of terrorism. Sudanese Eritrean military talks concluded. That was everything for tonight. Thank you for following. See you tomorrow.